All right, so let's look at this code. So we have some strings. So let's look at our variables that are declared. So we have a, a string that's name and a string that's city. And so what we're going to do is ask the user for their name and for the city where they live. So let's go ahead and compile this and run it and just see what it's doing. All right, so let's enter our name. So I'm, I'm going to type in my name, city, Manti. So then it outputs, hello, Riley, you live in Manti. So the way that CN is working is it reads the input and it ignores any leading white space. So for instance, if I had have typed some spaces and then put my name and then city, this should still work because it's going to ignore all of the CN, ignores all of that leading white space. Basically what it does is it stops reading when it gets to the, so it starts reading when it gets to the first non-blank character. So this, when this read my name in, it skipped all of this leading white space and it started reading when it got to the first letter. And it's going to stop reading when it gets to the next white space character. And what I mean by white space character are spaces, tabs, and line breaks. So what happens if, say someone's running this program and it says, please enter your name, and they type their entire name. So they have a space between the first and last names. Well, it looks like there's a problem with the program. It says, um, hello, Riley, and then you live in Taylor. And so what happened with this is it read in, so it started reading, so CN started reading my first name, so Riley. And then once it got to this space, it stopped reading. And then the code went to the next CN, CN City, and it took my last name, Taylor, and it stored it to the variable city. The way that we can prevent this is we can do, instead of the CN, we can use this get line command. So get, so the way this works is get line, CN, and then name here since I'm reading in the name. So the way this works, first of all, you need the, so then when you do C out, please enter your name. And then we have the get line, and then the CN, we have to specify where we're getting the data from. And so we're getting it from the input stream. So we specify CN, and then we need to specify where we're storing the data. So we put the name of the variable here. So you put the name of the variable where you want to store. So we want to store the name to the variable name. We can also do a get line here because we could end up with the same problem with city. Someone could enter, say, Salt Lake City or San Francisco, and suddenly they have two words with a space, and so you need to use, so you'd want to use get line for that. So you want to use get line anywhere that the user is potentially entering in something that's more than one word. And so let's um, go ahead and run, save this and run it. So I'm going to compile it run it. So now please enter your name, put my name in, and city you live in. I'm just going to put a, a longer city. So actually let's put, um, oh, I'll have to do that. This should be city. All right, let's try this again. So do my name, and then I'll put Mount Pleasant this time. Hello, Riley Taylor, you live in Mount Pleasant. Basically, this get line reads the entire line. It reads all of the leading and embedded white space and it stores that in the string. So for instance, if I had a, let's run this again. Let's say that I put a bunch of space here in front of my name, so. And then just put Manti again. Notice how it saves all of that space. So getLine will save whatever is entered, including leading white space, 